I certainly recommend taking the LSAT more than once if, if you are able to. Um, even a few points different on the LSAT can make a huge difference in financial aid. Uh, and so um, that is, and, and it is true that, that almost all schools at this point are only gonna focus on your high score. Uh, and so it's really no risk to take it more than once. Um, so that's one thing. Um, I would say, you know, um, your personal statement, um, make sure that you have somebody else look at it to, to proofread it um, because, you know, it really doesn't matter as much what you say in your personal statement as how you say it. What we're looking for is that you can put sentences together, that you are a careful person so that you don't have misspellings or grammatical errors. Um, and so just being able to say, a, you know, have a coherent paragraph, uh, coherent sentence structure is much more important than, you know, trying to come up with the most novel idea for a personal statement. That's not really what it's about. It's really more about, um, although, you know, certainly saying a little bit about your motivation for going to law school is good. We, we often find that people that have strong motivations do better in law school than people that don't, that are just kind of there because they can't think of anything else to do. And so to the extent that that motivation comes through in your, in your application, I think that's important as well. Oh, thank you for sharing those comments. Yeah, the LSAT retake thing, I keep trying to tell students about it, but there are some law schools that don't update their websites or try to indicate that they consider multiple. Mm. So it's good to get the confirmation from you that you know, schools are, are only considering the highest, or at least the vast majority are. Yes, and I know it's expensive, and I know it's you know a, a, an investment of time to study and, and take it and so on, but, um, and, and so and you certainly wouldn't want to have on your you know, when it gets to the point where you're taking five or six LSATs, mm -hmm. then, you know, that could, that's definitely overkill. And at some point, uh, you sort of are what you are. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.